Wow, it's funny how NBC has hired a right-winger who supported the insurrection and Trump. I guess uh, NBC has decided to become right-wing. Former Republican National Committee Chair Ronna McDaniel made her first appearance on NBC since being hired by the network as a paid political analyst. And she fielded some tough questions about her time with the RNC. Do you disagree with Trump saying he's going to free those who've been charged? I do not think it? people who committed violent acts on January 6th should be freed. So you disagree with that? He's been saying that for months. I, Rana, why not speak out earlier? Why just speak out about that now? When you're the RNC chair, you, you kind of take one for the whole team, right? Now I get to be a little bit... When you're the RNC chair, you got to take one for the whole team, so... She's saying that she didn't believe uh, Trump or was a lie, but she supported it anyways. Talk about being a big-time liar. But more myself, right? This is what I believe. I don't think violence should be in our political discourse, Republican or Democrat. Meet the Press moderator, uh, Kristen Welker, uh, disclosed at the top of her show that McDaniel scheduled this interview before NBC News announced her hiring. The show's former host, Chuck Todd, who is now the network's chief political analyst, well, he was on the invited uh, panel today, and he didn't hold back, blasting the network's decision. Take a listen. Look, let me deal with the elephant in the room. Yeah. I think our bosses owe you an apology for putting you in this situation, because I don't know what to believe. She is now a paid contributor by NBC News. So I have no idea whether any answer she gave to you was because she didn't want to mess up her contract. Um, she wants... No, yeah, she said what the people wanted to hear so that she could be hired. It's us to believe that she was speaking for the RNC when the RNC was paying for it. And look, there's a reason why there's a lot of journalists at NBC News uncomfortable with this because... Many of our professional dealings with the RNC over the last six years have been met with gaslighting, mm. have been met with character assassination. So it is, it, you know, that's where you begin here. And so um, when NBC made the decision... Yeah, it's, it's wild how NBC, a supposed left-wing uh, talk show or uh, media outlet, is right-wingers who they know have lied about things in the past like what are are other left wingers supposed to believe what she says decision to give her nbc news's credibility you gotta ask yourself what does she bring nbc news if it's sunday it's meet the press being very candid senior media reporter oliver darcy who joins us now to discuss all of the fallout. All right, so Oliver, I mean, look, is this about access to Republican sources, as Chuck Todd has claimed, or are, are they trying to appeal to Trump supporters with this hire, keeping a neutral reputation? Sort of bring me into the world. Of yeah, yeah, they're trying to appeal to uh, right wingers and wanting to get more right wingers to view their their uh, videos, and they want to become more right wing of why they would hire someone like Ronna McDaniel. Sure. Well, for one, this is a five alarm fire for NBC News. This is a complete disaster. The blowback they're getting, I don't think they anticipated this much blowback where on Sunday uh, they'd be dealing with this. But look, when they hired her, they... Right. They didn't realize that hiring a right wing Trump uh, insurrection supporter uh, would be such a problem with their audience what a lie they're just hoping to become a right-wing uh, media outlet they said basically that they wanted to represent the other side that she was an important voice and that you know trump republicans should be represented on the network now of course there's a lot of holes in well uh trump supporters should be represented so what, is NBC News going to start uh, claiming that it was stolen from Trump because that's what Trump supporters believe?
in that argument. And it, it really rubbed people the wrong way inside NBC News as well and inside MSNBC because Ronna McDaniel is not no, any normal Republican, right? She is someone who has spent years as head of the RNC until recently when she departed, smearing NBC News journalists, launching really ugly, vile attacks on MSNBC hosts and the network and organizations as a whole. And more. Wow. So even though this chick has been lying about NBC and their host, NBC still decided to hire her. It shows he, they just don't care. More importantly, she was an election denier. You saw, you know, back when she was talking to Chris Wallace just last year, she was unable to say that Joe Biden legitimately won the 2020 election. And even worse, she was helping Donald Trump subvert the 2020 vote. So not only was she an election denier, but she was an active participant uh, in this plot here. And so NBC News journalists. Wow. What is the owner of NBC truly thinking? Hiring an election denier in Trump like did he honest did they honestly think that they would get approval by their left-wing audience to do that because if they did think so they're truly out of touch with what their audience actually believes I mean I honestly wouldn't be surprised if he secretly believed that the election was stolen from Trump are obviously very upset, uh, and uh, you're seeing that uh, this morning on Meet the Press where Chuck Todd uh, gave voice to some of that uh, disappointment. Uh, let's take a listen. And so um, when NBC made the decision to give her NBC News' credibility, you got to ask yourself, what does she bring NBC News? And when we make deals like this, and I've been at this company a long time, yeah, with the fact that Ronna Daniel is nothing but a liar, this just makes NBC looks worse whenever they their time and allow her to talk because everybody knows she's a liar and it just makes NBC look like they're lying as well. You're doing it for access. And there you see Chuck Todd. He ripped NBC News and said that they owed actually the current moderator Meet the Press, uh, Kristen Welker, an apology. He said he disagreed with the justification NBC News has given uh, to uh, hire Ronna McDaniel. And, you know, this blowback doesn't look like it's stopping anytime soon. So at this point, I'm actually wondering at what point does uh, NBC News maybe do something here? Because this is really reaching. And it's also wild how they will fire people who speak out against the Israeli genocide yet hire people claim that the election was stolen. Uh, 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 crescendo, if you will. And, yeah. you know, I think that they had thought this was going to stop by Sunday. And in fact, because of Chuck Todd earlier today, it's gotten a lot worse. And, you know, it highlights a, an interesting issue, I think, for, for a lot of news organizations or, or just a lot of organizations, period, as we enter this election cycle, you know, potentially trying to hire campaign insiders or people who might have insight into the way of thinking, particularly in the, in the Trump world. Um, do you expect more of these types of hires to happen across the news industry as we get into uh, further into this election year? Well, to be clear, I don't think anyone would be, you know, upset uh, if uh, MSNBC came out and hired, let's say, someone like Chris Christie, who is a Republican who uh, was uh, supportive of Donald Trump until the January 6th insurrection. I think the insurrection and the election of 2020 is a pretty bright, red, clear line that news organizations don't. In my opinion, if any, like left wing uh, media outlet decides to hire right-wingers, especially those that support Trump or election denial.